It is a day of impeachment hearings and a night of debate by Democratic presidential hopefuls. Campaign 2020 is in full swing, and there is little doubt the impeachment and the debates will have an impact in the primaries and the general election. Well, this afternoon, we are launching a segment for political analysis by two of our analysts. Jim Byrne served five years as the chairman of the Pennsylvania Democratic Party, also was the mayor of Millville for more than a decade. And on the other side of the desk is former Pennsylvania Governor Tom Corbett. The governor also served as Pennsylvania Attorney General and the U.S. Attorney for Western Pennsylvania. Thank you both for joining us here uh, for our first segment in here on, on political debate. Let's start off with the impeachment hearings. You are a former U.S. Attorney. You are a former State Attorney General. Have the Democrats made their case from what you've seen so far? Well, this isn't a criminal proceeding. Right. Uh, this is, uh, I've been talking to many friends, this is a public um, political uh, decision that's being made out there. Uh, no rules of evidence uh, are implored. Um, and I would say that they made their case before we ever started testimony because I think the decision was made by the uh, Democrats in the House that they're going to file articles of impeachment. I don't think these hearings changed anything for them on that. You agree with that? I don't think that the dynamic has changed whatsoever. And, and in the House of Representatives and, and, and the governor as, as former attorney general, Sees, I would think, sees an analogy that what we have is almost like a, a, a grand jury investigation. Except public. <laughs> Except publicly jury. and everybody's watching, unlike the grand jury process. So what's happening now is the Democrats and those who support that there was some type of a quid pro quo or the evidence would suggest that in their minds are making that case now. Uh, I do believe that they have established that. I think everybody probably agrees that the Democrats are, are going to head toward impeachment. Oh, absolutely. And everybody yes. probably agrees that at this point, at least, the United States Senate will not convict they will acquit the president well they said at, at this point at this point at, at this point so if that plays out as it is how will these impeachment hearings affect first of all the democratic party candidates uh, who are trying to get the nomination these are the governor and i were talking before we came on air these are definitely snapshots of moving pictures every day every minute almost something changes if it were right now there aren't enough votes in the Senate, but there was some very, very powerful testimony today. So to answer your question, if it were tomorrow, I don't see the scales switching that much. However, the more evidence that comes out over in the House and then when the trial begins in the Senate, which is an inevitability, some minds could change. No, but I'm asking how this might affect any of the candidates. Any of the Democratic Democrat. candidates? No, I don't see anything changing that dynamic. I, I don't see anything either. I mean, they have the positions that they've stated. They have a debate coming up tonight, uh, which I affectionately say is not a debate it's a state your position and let us know what you think and so that is going to continue they, they will probably make a comment on the debate on the yes. uh, impeachment hearings but it won't make any difference all right then let's turn it around will these impeachment hearings affect the president down the road well i, I think a lot of it is going to uh, determine as to what happens with impeachment I, I agree with you as it stands right now the senate is not going to uh, convict him on that and it, we, we go to look at his popularity numbers i've been looking at the polls they really haven't changed a whole no. lot. All right, well, let's bring up the polls right now, because there are some new polls that are out, and we go into that debate tonight. And this is kind of a surge by Pete Buttigieg, the mayor of South Bend, Indiana. Yes. The Iowa and the New Hampshire poll came out this morning, and it shows Buttigieg ahead 25 to 15 percent over Elizabeth Warren. If you show the Iowa poll, it's the same thing. Buttigieg has surged ahead. I mean, the New Hampshire poll it shows, shows the same thing. He has surged ahead there. He's ahead by nine points in that poll. What is happening here on, the, on your Democratic candidates? Sometimes the best way to judge the success of any candidate is by the, uh, the rage uh, or the posturing of their adversaries. And we've seen in the last 14 days, especially in the last seven, the attacks on, on Mayor Pete from the Warren wing, from the uh, Sanders wing, from the Biden wing. They're starting to go after him. They're looking for some old B-roll film of some speeches he made 10 years ago. So this, is a, this corroborates what we're seeing, a surge in the polls. Well, I agree with him. And what happens when you get to the front of the pack, everybody's chasing you. Everybody's going to try and find everything they can on you. He is the new person. I mean, the other three uh, people up there you've seen quite a bit. Bernie's been out there a number of times. Right. Uh, so he'll have the target on his back tonight. Whoever goes to number one has the target on their back, and but he has it tonight. We've seen Biden hit. We've seen Warren hit. We've seen Sanders hit tonight. We're going to see Mayor Pete get hit. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. We'll see what happens in the debate tonight.